Bum 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 bum. Tomatoes. Hello, welcome to video four. What is draw debug line? Let me show you the note first because if I modify it at all to show you the example, we're gonna have to reset it. Basically, the draw debug line allows us to draw a line inside of our world or our viewport that's used for debugging. So for example, we have a start and an end. In this case, I'm going to start at the object I'm inside of right now, and I'm gonna end at the box. So we're gonna start at the character and we're gonna end at this box that I have inside my scene. Default is a black color with no duration and no thickness. Let's hook this up to my begin play and run it. And you're not gonna see anything. Well, we don't really have a duration or a thickness, so we're gonna have an issue. Let's change our duration to something like 10 seconds and our thickness to one and hit play. And now you'll see a little thin debug line. Black in color, it'll take 10 seconds to go and it's being drawn from the start to the end. Now we can of course modify things. Let's make our thickness something better like 10 and let's change our color to something like a red. We'll hit okay and hit play and there we go. Now we have this reddish large debug line. There's gonna be no collision. It's gonna be partially transparent in terms of transparency like you can see here overlapping. So it is always useful and not occluding anything. And that is the basics of our debug line. Basically a start point and an end point, a color, how long we wish it to persist for, and a thickness. Now, if we want to do something like where it's always there, we can set our duration to something like zero and put it inside of a tick instead of the begin play. What zero means is every frame it's gonna be drawn. So you can actually see, since I'm redrawing it, it's now basically going from our player, whoops, <laughs> to the location because we're redrawing it every frame. Now let's say you just wanted to simply have it where it was drawn for a set amount of time. Let's go with our begin play again. Let's draw this for something like 30 seconds. You're using this for debugging purposes and then you want it gone. We have our flush persistent debug lines. This will get rid of any of our debug items, lines and shapes when it's called. So let's put a delay in here of about two seconds. We're basically going to draw this line for about two seconds and then run our flush command. We'll run this, you'll see the line, and then after two seconds, it flushes it out. So even though our line was told to draw for 30 seconds, the flush command got rid of it. So this is how you get rid of debug objects. This is how you draw a debug line. And these are the settings for the debug line. And that's pretty much going to wrap it up. We have our start and our end location. We have our base color for our line itself. How long we wish it to persist for. Zero is for the current frame. Anything above zero is the amount of time. And thickness is the thickness in units in the world.